ik toch wel mag zeggen dat we zeer kleurrijk gasten hebben vandaag. En wel Jay en Shaggy van die Insane Clown Posse. I just said that you were very colorful. That's right. <laughs> Multicolored, very colorful, like a rainbow on crack. Clown you know style. I mean? Clowns crack. have many colors. If I were to cut my arm off right now, you'd see yellow blood, green blood, blue blood. All the blood of the nations is in these juggalos right here. And that's also what we get on stage, right? That's right, sheer insanity. And we bring Fago Soda, which is a soda pop from Detroit. It's not an American soda pop because it's not distributed all over America. It's too cheap and too feeble <laughs> to even make it out of Detroit. But we're bringing it with us all over the world. And it comes in multi-colors, multi-flavors, bubblegum grape. And for some reason, we spray it all over the audience. Nobody really knows why. We do it because it's sheer stupidity. And that's what we are, sheer stupidity. We spray it all over the audience. The audience sprays it all over us. We spray it all over each other. The audience sprays it all over each other. We don't know why, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> For no reason whatsoever. That's probably the name Insane Clown Posse that makes it kind of obvious. Could have something to do with it, maybe. Do you guys have a message in life? Is that it? We have a message. Our above all, first and foremost message is to preach the words of an idiot in complete stupidity. And I can do that very well. You're talking to a man with an eighth grade education. I'm very <laughs> proud of that. My brother and sister before me didn't make it that far. I'm considered a genius in my family. But nevertheless, we still have a, we still have a message. And the message is that of the dark carnival. And the dark carnival is like our religion. It's what I live, breathe, and die for the dark carnival. The dark carnival is, is something big than human beings. It's what we live by. It's what we are. And we preach its message. And that message is simply this. Yourself. Self-religion coming back to haunt you. All your evils coming back to haunt you when you die. That is the message that we try to follow. But there's so much insanity involved in our music that we somehow lose track of what we're getting at. Do you follow me? I'm trying. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying half the time, you know what oh. I mean? There's, but but there's, there's, there is a message that we try to follow, but it's seldomly done, you know what I mean? That's right, here's the hook with the whole things. We don't push our message on nobody. We don't do like a lot of bands and, uh, and, and make sure we make a point for everybody listening to our music. It's there if you want to hear it, if you don't want to hear it, step. You know what I'm saying? I don't care, you know what I'm saying? Buy my records just as much, you know what I'm saying? You don't have to hear the message and listen to it saying clown posse. So many you know artists, so many artists feel they have to say something positive and something good for the children of the world, you know what I mean? I feel my job as an artist is only to make kids bob their heads and do like this every once in a while. That's my only job. Anybody that wants to hear a message can get it from their parents or from their teachers, because the only message we have is to act like an idiot when you come to our show, and that's the message. But we try to be good, but it doesn't always shine through the stupidity, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's hard to follow sometimes, but there is is a track we try to roll somewhere down, you're trying but, to find it but at we least. off the derail <laughs> you know what i mean well as long as you're trying to look for it that should be okay and i do agree with you that fun is very important and i do think that we get fun from you right yeah lots of fun a lot of bands will cry they're about this they want to change this and want to change that let me say right here right now insane clown posse does not give a damn about the monks in tibet all right that's their problem insane clown posse does not give a damn about the rainforest either, okay? If I had my way, I'd take all the monks in Tibet and have them chop down the rainforest, all right? I don't give a damn about that. All I give a damn about is getting paid, all right? Me and Shaggy, we're two scrubs. I grew up on food stamps and welfare. I'm here for the money. When I go to when I go to London, I'm there for the pounds. When I go to Germany, I'm there for the douche marks. When I'm here, I'm here for the Ghiblis. I'm here for everything. I want them all. The yens, the all them, the, what are they called? The yens, the pesos, the pecos. Was the pence, you know what I'm saying? And the ducats. And we won't do no benefit concert for Tibetan monks, although the show coming up is a benefit concert. Yes, we do. Benefit we are doing a bank account. We are doing a benefit <laughs> for right yourself. Here pockets, We're here to benefit my pockets, and that's it. The monks in Tibet got their own problems. The rainforest, they say, if you chop the rainforest down, the pelicans won't have anywhere to lay their eggs. <laughs> I got bigger things in my rotted mind to worry about than where the pelicans are gonna lay their eggs. You know what I mean? I'm not kidding. I'll take the pelicans' eggs and fry them up and make an omelet and share it with the Dalai Lama, all right? I'm not concerned with that. <laughs> I'm here for the yen, the loot, the bank. That's it. Once I get the loot, I'm gonna spend it in the red light district, and then I'm coming back again for more yens. <laughs>
<laughs> but you got to make money. That's right. And um, you probably need an album to do that. Yes. So you did make an album. That's right. Hey, we're making lots of money right now, but we want to make more money. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I like money a lot. I like to put it in my pocket. I like to watch my bank account get fat. You know what I'm saying? That's right. I like fucking, uh, oh, shit. <laughs> I like uh, uh, giblets or what are they called? Gilberts? Gillers. Gilders. Gilders. Just as right. much as I like dollars. You know what I'm saying? I like gilders just as much as yens. I like gilders just as much as pounds. And I love gilders and I love spending them. The album we have made right now is called The Fourth Joker's Card in a series of six. The first two albums we released just locally in Detroit on mm -hmm. our own crackhead record label. It means nothing, <laughs> but I'm proud of it and I love it. The third album we released all across the nation of the United States. Big deal. Now it's the fourth album. The fourth Joker's card is a worldwide event. You see what I'm saying? The whole world will become down with the clown, okay? And that album is called The Great Malenko. And we are the most controversial band in the world. We're the most hated band in the world. And The Great Malenko is the greatest album in the world. And we're going to spread it like a fungus all over the world. So but then we got four. There's two more. There's two more. Is that really the end then? It's the end of time as we know it. At that point, me and Shaggy here, we will have we will have con we will have conjured up enough juggalos all across the world. Juggalos is what we call our fans or whatever. I don't call them fans. I call them juggalos. And once we have enough juggalos, we're going to make them all stand on one side of the planet at the same time, and then the world's going to flip upside down, <laughs> and it's going to rain hell, all right? It's going to rain Fago in hell when you least expect it. That's my plan, and that's what I'm going to do after all the six Joker cards have been released. And are you going to take Alice Cooper and Slash down with you? Because we're also on the album. I'm taking Slash with me, but see, Alice Cooper, he sold us out, okay? Yeah, Alice Cooper is what you call a punk. You know what That's I'm saying? That's right. Alice Cooper is an old guy who just likes to play golf now. He ain't <laughs> down with the wicked stuff no more. He was down. He was down. He did the intro to our album, and he sounds great on it because he's got a lot of talent. But the fact of the matter is, once that album came out, it received a lot of heat in the United States for the cussing and the violence and the, the serial killer thing. Big deal, right? <laughs> and then anyway, Al, they went to Alice Cooper, and Alice Cooper said, hey, I would have never done that album if I'd have known what insane clown posse was like. Well, let me tell you something, Alice Cooper. If I'd have known what you would like, I would never, I never would have had you on my record. We tried to jumpstart your career because it's dusty and old, all right? And you had to sell me out, so now I'm selling you out. On the other hand, Slash, Slash is a juggalo. He's down with the clown. When the press went to Slash and said, what are you doing on that insane clown posse wicked album? He said, hey, I'm down with the clown. I'm down with the clown and he had our back. He had our back like this shirt I'm wearing, you know what I mean? It's Steve Jones of the Sex Pistols. Him too, he didn't run and hide, he had our back. Meanwhile, Alice Cooper got his panties in a bunch and went running off. Well, we don't need Alice Cooper. We need juggalos that are down with the clown and ready to fight for the cause. Uh, word. What else can I say? You know, like, I think the message is pretty clear. You're touring. When people go to your concerts, do they follow your, with oh, the makeup, yeah. for example? All types of kids. Juggalos, they're down with the clown for life. They love to jump off the stage. They love to cross surf. They love the mosh pit. They like to jump on the stage, put us in a headlock, and rock us in the face a couple times. <laughs> and do a moonsault off the speaker stack, back into the crowd. Wildness, broken bones, cut heads, you know what I'm saying? Speaker stacks crushing kids. This we is how care. I can explain an insane clown posse concert in one sentence. Completely void of talent, all right? It's no secret we suck. That's why we spray so much Fago soda all over the crowd. My tactic is this. This. If everybody's looking at me and I can blind them with gallons and gallons of Fago soda, they get it in their eyes and they can't see, and therefore we get over. Because if they could see, they would see the fact that we suck, all right? We don't play instruments on stage, we play to a tape, because what we have in concert is not a concert, it's a party. It's a juggalo party, mass insanity. You got kids swinging off the chandeliers, you got people stage diving off the balconies, bodies flying everywhere. Kids run up on stage, punch me in the face, and dive back. Back off. Half the time I don't know where Shaggy's at. He's over at the popcorn stand enjoying himself. Nobody knows what the hell's going on. It's, it's sheer insanity, and that's the way it should be, because the bottom line is this. If the kids are having fun, you're doing a good job, right? 
Yep. So I don't need to sit up there and play the harp. I don't know how to play instruments, but I'm the greatest musician in the world, right? I don't need to learn how to play the banjo or none of that, because the kids are having fun, and that's the bottom line, and that's what they need to do. When we come to playing musicians, when we come to need musicians on our songs, we bring the best, Slash, Steve Jones. We bring the greatest guitar players ever. But us two, we basically suck, and it's no <laughs> secret, all right? But nevertheless, we're the greatest band in the world. We're the wickedest band in the world. We're the only band in the world. And if people are looking at us right now and thinking we're influenced by Kiss, let me tell you this. Kiss can kiss my ass, all right? Because they got the idea from us. Gene Simmons, he's a violent Jay wannabe. Marilyn Manson isn't scary. This is scary. We have a little problem with serial murder. And Marilyn Manson got a $5 fake contact lens in his eyes. Hey, you can't be scary when you're wearing your grandma's panties on stage. That's you know right. He saying? wears a bra. It's not scary, you know? <laughs> When did that scary. become scary, all right? Some pantyhose fishnet style, you know what I'm saying, on a bra, you know? I put him in a headlock and give him a wedgie up his ass and snap his bra, you know what I'm That's saying? That's right. We make Marilyn Manson look like Hanson. We make the ghetto boys look like the Spice Girls. We make Testament look like Testicle. Who else? We make Def Leppard here again. That's we make the Rolling Stones stop and start rolling backwards. You know what I'm saying? Right. Make Pink Floyd look like Yellow Belly. You know That's what I'm right. Saying? This is the greatest band in the world, and we challenge the whole world. I'm going to take Green Day and put all three of them in a the headlock and play their skulls like the bongos while he busts a freestyle rap over it. Nobody can stop us. We are the greatest band to ever walk this face of the earth, and I'm going to prove it. And one more thing. When we come to Holland, when we come anywhere overseas, we're not going to be one of these lazy bands, all right? We're gonna keep coming here over and over again. When we come to Germany, we're coming back to Germany. When we come to London, we're coming back to London. I'm coming to your city so many times, you're gonna think I'm your neighbor, all right? There's no getting rid of us. When you look to the left, you're gonna see me. When you look to the right, you're gonna see me again. When you close your eyes at night, you're gonna see this ugly face. Get used to it, because we ain't going nowhere. We're not gonna be a lazy American band that sits at home chilling. I got a tour every five Five years. We're gonna play here so many damn times. I'm gonna. You're gonna think that this is the only band in the world because every show is gonna have us. We're doing shows with the Spice Girls. We're doing shows with the Backstreet Boys. We're doing shows with every band. I don't care. We're touring with everybody you ever heard of. We're doing shows with your mom. We're going to bingo with your dad. We're coming to your town, and you're never gonna get rid of us. Woo! Wicked clowns for life. WC baby. Uh. Wow, in one breath. <laughs> you know, I'm amazed. One more thing, one more thing. Is there more of you, or is it just the two of you? There's hundreds and thousands of us. They just haven't came over here yet. Okay. But on stage, there's only two of us in the beginning. Uh -huh. There's only two of us in the beginning, there's but by the end of the stage. Dance, there's a cast of monsters, insane doctors. At the end of the stage, the whole stage is filled up with the crowd, you know what I'm saying? You can't even see us. We're on the floor, and the crowd's on stage, you know what I'm saying? Doing a show for us, and we're like that, when the crowd's on stage, you know? The crowd's telling us to say, oh, <laughs> we're like, oh, nobody knows what's happening. Half the time I'm in the parking lot sparing change at my own show because it doesn't make any sense. And that's exactly how it should be. Stupid. It's working because I'm speechless. Well, it doesn't just, happen to me often, but I. I... With, with Insane Clown Posse, there's a lot of controversy that comes with us. A lot of people hate us. A lot of people don't want their children listening to us. Let me just say this. If you can take aside the fact that I spent a couple years in the slammer, set that aside. Dropped out of school at an early age, set that aside. I got a small problem with serial murders. Set that aside. <laughs> I'm a good guy. I'm a role model. I'm the kind of guy a dad would be proud if his daughter brung me home. Because I'm a good fella and we're role models for the youth of the world today. So invite us into your house. I'll come to your house and drink tea with your grandma and we can all get along because we're coming to your house whether you like it or not and I'm leaving with your stereo. But nevertheless, I want to thank you. You'll have a good time that night that you're there, right? I want to thank you for having us because this is unbelievable. We're like a pop group. We're like Oasis. We're like Backstreet Boys and we're very foul mouth punks and this is unbelievable and I want to thank you. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. I think I'll go and sing with him. I kind of like him. Insane Clown Posse. Stay down yeah. with the clown till you're dead in the ground. Ugh.